So you're interested in buying a new construction home here in Colorado Springs, but you don't know where to start. Today I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about new builds in Colorado Springs, from how to select a builder, to move in and everything in between. I'm a real estate agent here in Colorado Springs, and if you need an agent to navigate the purchase of a new construction home, fill out a buyer form below or schedule a consultation. We're not going to go over areas right now in this video just because there's way too much to cover, but we do have an overview of all of the areas where you can find new construction in our neighborhood guide that you can download below. So first I'm gonna list the most popular builders from the most customizable to the least customizable. So the first one is Saddle Tree Homes, followed by Classic Homes, Vanguard, Vantage, Challenger, and now it gets kind of less customizable with Trey Lawton Homes, Oakwood Homes, View Homes, which was formerly Aspen View Homes, Century Communities, and DR Horton. There are other builders in town, but these are, like I said, the most popular and the ones that build in our areas the most. They all have similar processes and not all builders build in all areas. So you will really narrow down your builder quite a bit as well as your price range once you chose an area along with that price range. Again, your agent should be helping you with this and you should have that narrowed down within 10 minutes. Let's cover why you should have an agent with you when you first walk into a builder's. The sales rep for the builder is super nice. They'll offer you beverages and snacks, but they ultimately represent the builder and the builder's best interest. They do wanna sell you the home, but they do not represent you in any way. So you do need your own representation and we always recommend that you hire an agent to help you with the new build process. They're already used to that relationship with agents and that way you have the sales rep representing the builder and then you have your agent representing you. If you are on a timeline, you are looking at spec homes. A spec home is a house that the builder has already selected a lot for, started building the home. These are typically homes that are one to two months out or they are already ready. So the builder is building them in anticipation of selling the home to a buyer. So they're pre-selecting everything. They're starting the building process so that when a buyer comes in, they have some homes that are available and ready for them to choose from. These typically have the most incentives and nothing can be changed on those. So it's a take it or leave it scenario. So if you don't like the floors, you don't like the cabinet colors, a lot of times nothing can be changed. So you're really stuck with whatever the builder has chosen for the finishes. Some of the builders I mentioned actually only build spec homes and that's kind of a side effect from COVID. They just couldn't keep up with the supply and demand. Now, if you're looking at a pre-selected home that's a spec home, yes, you're not getting to choose everything that goes into the house, but it still has benefits. So everything's updated, everything's new. You have a new furnace, roof, water heater. You're not having to worry about anything maintenance wise. And most builders here in town do provide a one year warranty. So they'll come back out right before your one year and fix anything that is not homeowner caused. If there's something wrong with the roof or if there's a warranty item like your fireplace is having issues or something was installed incorrectly, they will come back and fix that up to that one year warranty. And then 90% of builders here in town do have a structural warranty from anywhere from seven to 10 years. Now the fun part of building a house is called a dirt start. You go to a community, you select the builder if there's more than one, you select a lot based on different things like do you wanna be in a cul-de-sac? Do you wanna face a certain direction? Do you want a bigger lot? Do you want a smaller lot? You really have a lot of choices anywhere from you picking the lot to what color do you want the carpet to be. So this process is longer just because you're selecting the lot, you're selecting the floor plan, you're doing everything from start to finish. So this can take anywhere from six to 12 months, depending on the area, depending on the builder, and depending on how big the home is. So after you pick the lot, you're going to select the floor plan. Now keep in mind that some of the floor plans, they do not have modeled. And by modeled, I mean built out. So they may offer 10 or 12 floor plans, but then they actually only have one or two for you to look at in person. And for the rest of the floor plans, you're relying on virtual tours, room dimensions, 
and just pictures of the homes that they've built in the past. Some people have a hard time getting past that, but your sales rep and your agent should help you narrow down what plan is gonna be great for you and your lifestyle. And then keep in mind that some floor plans are flipped, so you might see it a certain way on the paper, but depending on where they have to put the garage, they may have to flip the house to where now the garage is on the left side and the kitchen is on the other side of the house. So keep that in mind when you're walking through a model and make sure you're asking Asking those questions to the sales rep. Once you select the lot and the floor plan that will go on the house, the builder's rep will drop the contract. Now keep in mind that these contracts are usually more builder friendly than buyer friendly. So again, be sure, I know I'm repeating myself, but be sure that you have an agent with you that's reading it and can tell you what you're getting yourself into before you make that commitment. As part of going on under contract, they will wanna see a pre-approval letter from you and you can use a local lender or you can use the builder's lender. So every builder has a preferred lender typically that they like to work with and with them, you get an incentive if you use their preferred lender. The incentive sometimes seems better than it is, but really sometimes they're overinflating the rate and bringing it back down. So again, make sure someone's looking at that and making sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck if you are using the preferred lender. So then once that's all figured out, you qualify for the home, you have the lot picked out, you have a floor plan, you know what you're gonna build and where it's gonna go, then the fun begins and that's where they will set you up on a design center appointment. They will have options for several things. They will have options for paint, flooring, tile, cabinet colors, cabinet height, faucets, lighting, anything that you can think of that needs to go inside the house, they will have you pick. So there's two options again, you can either go with a builder that does the pre-selected options where a designer makes sure everything meshes together, or you go on your own and you pick everything yourself. From the time that you contract to the time that the house is finished is usually a long waiting period. They will keep you updated with progress and there will be several meetings throughout your building process. So before they start building, they always have a pre-construction orientation meeting where they'll go over the timeline with you. They'll verify selections and make sure that everything that they have is what you picked at the design center. After that, they'll start building and you will have a pre-drywall walk where they will walk through the house with you, check out all the framing, check out what's behind the wall before the drywall goes up. And then the next meeting after that is a blue tape walk where your house is basically finished, but you're going through the house with blue tape and taping any imperfections, anything that needs to be fixed. And then during this time is also when you can get an inspector involved. With the inspection, once that is done, your agent will send that to the builder and they will address any issues that are on the inspection report that need to be repaired or taken care of. Once you've done that blue tape walk, about a week after you will do your final walk where we go back in and make sure everything that you blue taped or flagged the week before was taken care of. And then if some items were not finished, there will be a punch list that will survive closing. So you'll still be able to buy the house that day, but there will be some items sometimes that the builder will have to fix after the fact. And that's it. So once you do your final walk, you go to closing, you'll get the keys and you'll be able to move in. One thing we do recommend is to keep a list of anything that needs to be repaired after you move in. Now I know we said we do the blue tape walk and the final walk, but there's nothing like being in the house 24 seven day after day and really paying attention to all the little things. With the one year warranty, they will come back and fix a lot of things that maybe were missed or just nobody noticed. So there is some assurance and peace of mind with that as well when you're building a new construction home. So that is the process for building a home from start to finish. Again, there are many options for you here in the city, different areas, different price points, different builders, different selections. I mean, the list goes on. If you have any questions or we can help in any way, please reach out to us, we'd love to help you.